Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead and today. We are gonna show you how we bottle feed our calf Dottie. That's right, we are new to the world of having the miniature cow version. They call them calves in the wild. In the wild, where they're hunted like gazelle. No, forget it. No. Okay, no, we're seriously gonna show you how, uh, well, Mama really is gonna show you, thankfully, Mama's gonna show you uh, how we bottle feed the calf, Dottie, because frankly, you probably don't wanna hear a whole lot of my silliness, so I promise, Paquito, I'll keep it small. The silliness, Mama's gonna show us. He can't keep any silliness small. So the first thing is the milk. Milk from our older cow, Macy. Gotta get it prepped. So into the kitchen, we she go. go. Yep. Will she go? Yes. Now more specifically, the milk doesn't come from the kitchen. It comes from the cow, which then goes to the kitchen, then really comes back out to the barn. So it's all about a separation. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. These, they go on top of the, the bottles, right? They go over here. Basic stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So these are to simulate the udders. No, the teats. All right, you do your thing, I'm out of here. Now a serious note about bottle feeding. We chose to bottle feed versus bucket feed because the way that you hold the bottle, it simulates the baby milking off of the mama's teats and it's just better all around for digestion. One of the things that we like to add to our calves milk is probios. This is a awesome probiotic for livestock animals. Um, it has the instructions here on what to give which animal and it has lots of different um, bacteria in here for um, cows. There's so. cheeseburgers in there and bananas. Yes. And cherry splits. Yes, just helps keep her gut healthy. None of that's in there. No, not at all. But it is good for them. Yes. Now for our use, we use uh, what's the, it's a five gram uh, scoop and we use half a scoop two times a day. We put the half a scoop in one of the bottles and now I've got this one marked. So this is the bottle that the, the probiotics go into and this is the one I feed her first, just in case she doesn't happen to finish all of the milk. She gets the, the medicine. She make, I make sure she gets the probiotics uh, in the first bottle. Now when the milk comes in from outside, I will go ahead and act very quickly uh, because the milk has to stay at a certain temperature. So the milk comes in, I run it through our awesome filter into our um, pitcher jug so that I can fill up these uh, containers easily. Some of this milk goes for us, that's why I filter all of it, and some of it goes for the calf. Well now, how? what is the certain temperature you, you mentioned? The temperature needs to be uh, between 100 and 105 degrees. So we just have to, as soon as the milk comes in, I filter it really fast, fill up these bottles, and head outside to go and feed her. And now the reason for that is digestive, correct? Yes, the, the best digestion is uh, when the temperature is between that 100 and 105 degrees. Uh, if it's too cold, then she won't digest. It takes more energy for her to digest that milk better. Um, so it's gotta be at that right temperature. Here comes the milkmaid. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You are in the spotlight there, sister. Thank you. Have you got hot milk for us? Yes, I do. For our cow, Dottie? Yeah. Time is ticking. It's got to be a certain temperature. Mama's gone down there to the nether regions, to the, the can well, to I gotta retrieve take, the milk. I got to take the hose off so that I can get the top off. Okay. Okay. And now people give me garbage for this. This is what's so funny to me. You guys have seen the filter system and you've seen the glass thing. Everybody gets on me about this right here. And why? Because it's tall. And it's I'm easier though. That's a thing. Say that, Mama. If it's true. This is easier because now I don't have to move it anywhere. 
I can fill these with this awesome pitcher here, and I'm done. So everybody was giving me garbage about saying, you should build something shorter. And actually, it's really not that heavy. It's probably 15 pounds, maybe 20. Well, that's... It's not that big of a deal. It's also because you're so beefy, Mama. Your arms, oh, right. they're gone. I know. So now time is ticking. We got to get our milk bottles filled and out to feed Dottie. At the right temperature. Right. In goes the probios. Yep. And I sprinkle it in there so it automatically mixes. And she's going to take how much milk? One gallon. And she's little. She's little. She's a month, about a month and a half old now. Well, and you got to look to see how much milk your cow slash calf will need. She needs, what, a gallon a day? Yeah. Twice, or no, she needs a two gallon? gallon? Two gallons a day. Now this milk will go outside to feed Dottie. The rest of this milk will go in half gallon jars for our family to drink tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget about Grace. Oh, and well, she's part of our family, right? Well, yeah, but she gets the raw milk, which is yes. awesome and very, very good for her. Yes. Now, to feed your calf, you can go ahead and hold this bottle. Um, however, we bought one of these uh, little bottle holders. It makes it really, really easy to uh, feed the calf so we're not having to hold the bottle for 15 minutes while she's drinking it. Which is actually pretty funny because <laughs> you hold it anyway. Well, yes, I do, so she doesn't <laughs> knock it off the fence post. But. Hi, Dottie. You she's hungry? Ready, she's ready to eat. She's gonna start bumping me here any second. She's treating you she's, like mama cow. Exactly. Exactly. And that's Let's normal. Stick that one there. Now, um, the best way to do this is to make sure that this nipple is in line with her back. In terms of height? In terms of height. So like because, there. Right, because that's the way the cow is to the calf. So I'll put this here, and as you can see, a it's little, yeah, that's about in right. line with her back. And she is gonna go the distance here. That cow is passionate about dinner time. No, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, sometimes she gets distracted, and then, well, sometimes, it's all bets are off. Sometimes she gets a little frustrated because it's not coming out fast enough. And because we're filming, she's gonna be difficult and not milk the way she's, or drink the way she's supposed to. So if you do have to hold the bottle, make sure that you hold it off to the side of you so that she doesn't hit you in the belly when she bumps the bottle. Let's see, she bumps it yes. just like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. That so, was good, on cue, thank you. Thanks, Dottie. Oh, she's drooling. And she's... that's normal. That is very normal. Now this calf we intend to have as a milk cow when she gets older. So what we try to, to, to do is pet her as much as possible. I even as so much as uh, touch her teats so that she, she's used to gentle touch when it's time for milking. <laughs> So uh -huh. you grab up under there at her baby lady, it, it, at her it, baby it, it, lady business. Is that? Yeah, they're like this. And you grab them and you just no, like. No, I just go and touch. Like that? Stop. What? I want to know, is it a, an open palm? Yes. Pat, pat, pat? Like Morpheus? No? So what do you do? I just go, <laughs> you're, stop. <laughs> What do you do? I just go under where her teats are and touch them. Okay. Just so that she knows that it's okay to touch those when it's time to eat. So it's because when she goes to milk, she'll be eating and it will be time to A touch her teats. A lot easier to train right. her. Boy, oh boy, I'm tired. Let me just say, that was a whole lot of milking for one man. Actually, I, I really didn't do much except film and then add silly commentary. Right. So, bottle feeding, not that big of a deal. No, it's really easy. It's twice a day and easy. And actually, there are benefits and not so benefits to bottle feeding a baby cow and how young you get it versus a little bit older. This cow, Dottie, we got when she was about a month old. Right. And the guy that we actually got her from said, well, he's got several other cows, some were younger, and he, he said, look, you know, if this is your first one, probably not a good idea to go younger, and do tell why. Well, because a calf at about two weeks of age will have what's called scours. It's diarrhea, and it's a mess, let me tell you. So, well, it's a health risk. Yes, yes. If you don't feed your cow properly, then that calf could die, and we didn't want that. It was, you know, she's a lifelong investment for our family, and 
we want to take good care of her. Well, and having this to be our first calf that we're bottle feeding, it just made sense for us not to, to add that extra element of, oh my gosh, what's right. going on? Right. Uh, but all that to say that so far we've had Dottie, how long? Almost two weeks. And she's doing great. Yes. Healthy, putting yep. on, like Mama said, about a pound a day. Mm -hmm. And with that, I mean, I don't foresee this to be a crazy, crazy thing. And when you consider, we, we um, let's just say we got her at a good deal. It was a barter yes. thing. Yes. It was a barter thing. Mm -hmm. And so we got her at a really good deal. So it made sense to do it for the family. Yep. Uh, and if you have any equine farm background experience, I don't think this would be a hard thing to do. I, no. So far. So far, things are going well. Man of many words. Yeah. Check. I'm yes not or no. One of them. Cow, good? Yes. It's TV, Mom. You gotta talk. Okay, with that, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And we're done. We'll talk to you guys later. Have an amazing day. All right, a completely unrelated to bottle feeding a cow story today. Poor Nana. She was following me out after her afternoon, you know, time of siesta. She was out given all that she has to give. And uh, she went over to see the animals. And instead of avoiding the electric fence, Nana found the electric fence again. And poor Nana. Oh my Atlanta, you would have thought she just got shot in her booty. It was pitiful. She was screaming and running and she tried to get away and she's actually been very, very odd today. We'll have to keep an eye on her. Nana, she wants to go out. Caleb's right there. She's like, hey, I've been through a lot. You have no idea the trauma, man. I, I felt it go straight to my nose, out my tail. Nana, <laughs> she's like, I'm out of here.